On today's podcast, we're going to be covering fork and lift truck safety, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. Now, if you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money and each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. On a previous podcast, we spoke about rack safety. The second half of that podcast covered forklift and truck safety. Now there's an old sales adage that states, A customer must be exposed to a product or service seven times before they're willing to purchase. With social media and changes within sales and marketing, that may have changed. But the point is, sometimes you need to hear something several times before it sinks in. So we're going to cover fork and lift truck safety just a little bit more. In addition to wanting the information and importance of the information to sink in, it's very important to point out some of the stats surrounding this topic. According to OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, fork and lift trucks account for dozens of deaths and thousands of serious injuries per year. Well over a third of those deaths are caused from fork and lift trucks tipping over and crushing the driver. And although there are certainly cases where it didn't help, the very first way to avoid this from happening is wearing the proper safety belts and or harnesses while operating fork and lift trucks. Did you see a bit of a trend here? Most of these injuries and deaths could be avoided. So before ever getting on a tow truck or operating a lift truck, be sure that you've taken and know all of the required safety training to operate the equipment. But most important, employ your training in your day-to-day actions and make sure that your co-workers are doing the same and if you don't know something or something seems incorrect consult a supervisor before continuing on with our podcast here's a word from one of our sponsors if you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse you know just how important safety is to both management and staff it's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape angles, signs, and or products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. What makes Mighty Line the superior choice in keeping your facility safe and productive? Mighty Line Tape is the strongest floor tape on the market and has a beveled edge that increases durability for industrial brush scrubbers, forklifts, and heavy industrial wheel traffic. Mighty Line's peel and stick backing allows easy installation and removal. You can apply and reapply it during installation and it leaves no sticky residue should you need to remove it. This allows the ability to change workflow areas quickly and easily and not have the downtime that's associated with painting or using floor markings that leave behind a mess when you remove them. Mighty Line tape is seven times thicker than the average safety floor tape. Mighty Line signs and markings come in a variety of shapes colors and sizes and if we don't have what you're looking for in stock there's a good chance we can customize it and allow you to find exactly what you're looking for mighty line offers a limited three-year warranty on their floor signs and markings and last but certainly not least mighty lines products are patented and proudly made in the usa we're proud to have mighty line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the warehouse safety tips podcast and site again go to mightylinetape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings now back to the podcast facilities with loading docks have one of the higher incident rates among fork and lift trucks These areas are an absolute whirl of hive-like activity. Now, while you're in these areas, you have several things that you really need to be paying attention to. To start off with, again, be sure to be wearing the proper safety belts and harnesses. 
Next, pay close attention to safety signs, floor markings, and lights directing you where to go and when it's safe to proceed. Pay attention to your surroundings by making sure that there's no debris, improperly placed materials, and that there aren't any slick conditions that are caused by oil or water, maybe ice or snow. Before attempting to enter a truck, make sure you pay attention to the following, including, but not limited to, making sure that you have your lights on and that you can see in front of you. Use your horn when going in and out of trucks to assure people know that you're present. Look to make sure that there are no people and or other fork or lift trucks already in a truck. Make sure that you have your forks high enough to avoid pushing your pallets along the ground, but low enough to see over it. Allowing pallets to drag will damage both the pallets and floor markings in your facility. In addition, having them too high means that your mast is probably heightened and that you're at risk of hitting the top of a truck or a dock door. Make sure that trucks are properly pulled into docks and have their brakes or locks applied, as well as dock doors are completely up before pulling into a truck. Pay attention to placement of product to assure everything is safe and secure, not just for the product, but for the driver as well. And as mentioned in the first part of this podcast, if you don't know something or something seems incorrect, consult a supervisor. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.